The Lord says, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Do not be afraid. More. There is more with you than it, there are with them. Okay, he led me to 2 Kings 6, starting in 16. He says, do not be afraid. The prophet answered, those who are with us are more than are with them. And Elisha prayed, O Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he looked and he saw a hill full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Whatever is coming up against you right now, there is more on your side than on their side. Because you have given this situation to God, because you have laid it in his hands, he is going to fight for you. He says, remember, remember who is with you. It is not you against them. It is you and Jesus and an angelic army against them. And does Jesus ever lose? Because you have given it to him, there will be victory. Doesn't mean the battle is not there. Doesn't mean it's not going to, it's going to be easy. Doesn't mean that there's no fighting involved. Doesn't mean that there's no warfare involved, but recognize that who is behind you is more than what who is behind them. Whatever it may be, if it is witchcraft coming against you, the Lord has already defeated the devil. If, if it is um, a, a spirit of fear, rebuke it, cast it out. That spirit of fear does not belong there. It says, do not be afraid. Recognize who is with you. Recognize who is with you. You know, when we take it into our own hands, that's when there's risk involved because <clears throat> um, we, we on our own cannot defeat, okay? But with God inside of us, with Jesus inside of us, with that angelic army on our side, we are more than conquerors. What, what is in you has already defeated what is in them. The Lord has already defeated it. Recognize who is with you. Do not let that fear and worry and anxiety build up and make you disabled in the spirit. You are not disabled. You are not disabled. You are not disabled in Jesus name. You are not disabled. Ooh, I feel that strongly. You are not disabled. The Lord is on your side. And he has made you more than a cocker in the spirit. Okay. He wanted you, he wanted me to remind you who is backing you. More, much, much more is on your side than on theirs. The key is to leave it in his hands. Don't try to take it back into your hands because that's when risk becomes reality. You're, you're, you are, you, you're putting yourself at risk then 
if you are trying to do it on your own. Does not mean there's not a battle. Does not mean you, you, you don't have to fight. You fight with Jesus on your side and angelic hosts behind you, okay? I believe that's it. I have another one coming today. He gave me another one last night, so I'll do that in a different video. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.